Hey. 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 How are you? You feeling better? Yeah, but I was I was also rained on just a few moments ago when I came into oh. yeah the house. Uh, the rain is very heavy. How's how's the flooding? Did the houses hold up? <coughs> we are hoping that they. Yeah, yeah, they're okay. Okay. Yeah, they, are, they are okay. We 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 tried to you know to reconstruct them in a way that they won't be carried away by floods. But it's it's still difficult. It's did you did you think about the food bank? Uh, yeah, we 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 tried to talk to the community, but we're still not. They have still not confirmed it fully, because we had a lot of things on our table. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm just saying that in terms of prioritizing, you know, having, yeah. having some buffer, creating some buffer for everybody is helpful. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It is, but we we that's now what we we are doing now. Yeah, trying to look at because of the situation of the flooding now. We are trying to look at how to survive, uh, like uh, especially this period. It's raining heavily. Yes. So that's one of the ways. So uh, the launch went on fine. Uh, I'm I'm cooking. <laughs> Sorry. So, so I booked my flight. I've decided not to go to Malawi. Yeah. And we'll figure out what we should do, and uh, you know, kind of things. So I'm, uh, <coughs> I'm going to arrive in the evening into Nairobi at night on the second. Oh, on the yeah, yeah. yeah. And I will leave in in the evening of the thirteenth. Sorry, I was not hearing you correctly. I will arrive in Nairobi. Yeah. On the second of May at night. Yeah. And I will leave on the thirteenth at night. All right. And then the launch is going to of EACCGN and fully about this is going to be. Um. The, the launch is on Feb or it's on the sixth now. Yeah, and then the uh, and then the uh, see, but I want to. And then I have uh, uh, and, and and then I just have to figure out what to do. Um, and so you, you you will only be in in Kenya all that time. Um, yeah, I guess we'll we'll just figure out what it might be the best thing. I think I should have. I'm just looking at my flights and costs, and I think I should probably have done something. Uh, a bit differently. <coughs> Sorry, um,
Yeah. Okay. Doesn't. So I am uh, trying to. Um. So tell me about what happened on Saturday and how did it go? Yeah. So. On Saturday in the morning, it was raining heavily, and uh, we 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 didn't sleep with with the lights, so that forced us to to have uh, the the public address that like the small one that the chief was to give us. It it didn't work because it was not charged. Neither was our phones, and that morning my laptop was rained on. It's now in a very sad state. So, Does it but work? it Does went, it work anymore. I, it is like it is flickering. I think I was I was told to put it in the rice, and the rice will absorb the water. <laughs> yeah, you need it. In, yeah, it it sometimes works with mobile phones. It's yeah, it's worked and it has not worked for me. So I'm not sure whether it's bulletproof <laughs> or not, but it certainly helps. So it has been, so it has been in in that rice in that bag of rice since sat, Saturday evening. I, I'm afraid of of taking it <laughs> from the rice bag because I'm like, what if it hasn't worked? But um, there is a Owen will be coming maybe in the evening today to try and see if he can do something around it. I so guess you need to dry out first before you do anything. Yeah, but it, it went on well. All our batch, all our batches were sold out, Excellent. but we didn't have, we didn't have like um, that. Uh, what is it called? We didn't have that. We were anticipating 150. We only got 90. Okay. okay. Because of the rain. Yeah, because of the weather. Exactly. What did you do with the food? <clears throat> we cooked. We had we. They they went with some of the remainders because we had anticipated 150 and we couldn't like throw the food away, so we cooked for 150 people, and then uh, when the 90 came, uh, those who could who had something they can carry they they carried and we also left some for the students to to eat that evening. Did you make any money from the food or? No, we were not. We were not. We were not to sell the food. We were to give Christine so that Christine can go and buy the food uh, from the farmers rather than the 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 market. Yep. So that um, that saved her uh, uh, some money. That now she's trying to. She she actually got around nine thousand. So she's. She's trying to add on the rest eleven so that she can start some some food business for her. <coughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. But the batches were sold out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. I, I I think you guys have to have to think about you know how 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 it actually ends up making money for you. Do you you know what I mean? Yeah. So you, you, you kind of have to have to face that a little bit more and stuff. Uh, it's quite common <coughs> to, you know, that people pay for food. I think I understand this and so on, but you know, you can have cheap food that you yeah. can have and and for for cook for for good. Food. You know, for something that people can easily afford and so on, and and you can always let people know those things in advance. I'm just saying in the future, because otherwise you you're never going to earn enough. True. Do you, do you follow? Yeah. Your expenses otherwise will always be greater. True. And that and ultimately that's that's just a road down to bankruptcy. Yeah. So we were. We were discussing, and uh, there is a, a very emotive issue that came up yep. during during the launch. Uh, is that uh, most of the like some guys were from Madare and also from just from Maragua. Generally, most of the youth uh, were were arrested 
not during the launch, but they were arrested like some years ago, one year ago. And due to lack of, you know, enough enough funds to, to even hire lawyers or just to put up a strong defense. Why were they arrested? You, 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 some of them were found at night walking. Uh, some of them, due to the economic situation, some of them had decided to go and, you know, steal some avocados. But these are petty offenses. That yeah. uh, otherwise, if 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 in Kenya, if you put a good defense and all that, you can be able to get a, a community service rather than uh, being be, be, yeah. being arrested yeah. and put in prison. So we were thinking, and we were some some of the community leaders were proposing that uh, we can go and visit the prison, and then uh, with with some public officials, and then they can be able to identify who are the petty offenders and how they can be able to be assisted just putting that issue to be known because now it's under the carpet and uh, even the leaders themselves the politicians or even any other leader they don't know this because it's happen it happens with the police if you don't have like two shillings hundred shillings to bribe yourself out they can decide to look for promotion through you so they arrest as many people and go and say oh we are very competent we have arrested Hundred people from that area, fifty, twenty, you know. So that 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 was a very emotional issue, and I was looking at it, and I was like, yeah, I think maybe when you come, we can, as we also go to the technical uh, institute, we can also go with some officials uh, to the prison and just uh, sing with sing to them, uh, make them happy, as we also, you know, as the public officials try to look at. What can be done about some situations that are not as 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 big as as we would like to to to, to look at them? And hello, yep. And oh, how, I'm how saying, did this come up? How did this come up? It seems so different. Yeah, uh, it came up because we were during the group discussions, and uh, the. Because the question that they were answering was, uh, has the government done enough or you as a person, what can you do? So the, some of them were fearing to, to tackle that question because they're like, even if, even if we, we, we talk to the government or we talk at the government or we talk with the government, we still fear those guys. They have arrested um, some of our members, you know, because of this being labeled that you're from Madare and, you know, uh, a lot of assumptions are made. So that is how it came up from the group discussions. So, And what what kind of um, sentences are they serving? Some of them are not, have not even been sentenced. It's it's a, it's a case of just being arraigned in court, always being arraigned in court. Uh, backlog of cases. Uh, you don't have a strong yeah. Yeah, you don't have a strong defense that can really okay. raise these issues. You are depending on you know like uh, like uh, your own words to defend yourself. So. Some of them have not been sentenced. Some of them are just your phone at night working. You are arrested. Your case, a case goes for three years. Like, and it's a case that even if you will be acquitted and, and you will be found not guilty, you even, because the judge will not sentence, if it's like two years, he will not sentence you because you have already served three years. But it's still a waste of time and psychological torture. <laughs> So, I mean, I, I'm not sure what to think about it. I mean, I, I understand what you're saying, right? But um, but I'm, I'm I'm not sure how 
you know, I think these things have, uh, have <clears throat> um, I don't know, you guys, you guys, I, I mean, I'm, 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 so, so what was, what was the outcome of the conversations? No, the, the outcome was uh, the community leaders to reach out to to the leaders that are, for example, member of parliament or even administrator, uh, sub county administrator, uh, to reach out to them and to uh, create that discussion. Because it's not a discussion that you can we can pull out or make it political or even emotional it's a discussion that is purely technical so even if we visit them we will be visiting them from a point of let us just make them smile let us just you know just interact with them but at the same time the official that we will be there we will be interacting with them and getting to know their story so that from there something can be done somehow but it, it is it is a process that is not pegged on uh what what we, we think, it's, it's a process that is dependent on the discussion between the community leaders and uh, the leaders that are responsible. So we can't even plan it conclusively. So it is something that we are waiting for what, what will be the outcome of that discussion. But if it will be a positive outcome, outcome, then I guess I am ready, even if I'll be alone, to just go and sing to them and have some officials, you know, come uh, coming with me and talking to them. I don't have a problem with it, but it is something that is dependent on a discussion that is higher than what I can offer. <clears throat> and how do you feel about that topic coming up? Now, I I feel it's a it's a very beautiful. It is something that we had not seen the scale, the magnitude until yes, until uh, Saturday. And uh, it is something that uh, uh, needs to be addressed, you know, to, not even to be addressed like exclusively, it's something that the public needs to know it is happening. And, and if we can, it is just part of the, the stereotyping of if you're from Madare, you are a criminal, you're a bad person. Just, it is just part of the stereotyping. So if we can, so if, if handling this issue will, Will automatically uh, bring down the stereotyping, and uh, it, it it might even uh, make our story blow blow up more. Richard, yeah, I'm thinking here. Um, I mean, it's obviously not nice to be arraigned infinitely because the courts don't have the capacity to deal with the issue. Same time you committed a criminal offense in some of these instances. So yeah. um, uh. um, unfortunately, it's like that in a lot of places uh, all over the world that, you know, judicial systems are not working as they should, particularly yeah. in terms of time. Uh, and it's not an awful lot you can do, really, in practical terms, because that is what it is at the moment. And part of it might be an overhang from, from COVID, but I suspect it's not in all the cases. It's actually just bad functioning. Um, um, but you're saying it's quite positive, right? I mean, your your comments about it sounds like you you find it quite positively raised it. About yeah, that? I found, yeah, I found <laughs> it. I find it. It's a post. It was a positive, uh, you know, step towards um, the bigger picture, because if you if we will just be moving on with with put just putting things under under the carpet. They will, they will come up eventually. And uh, when we want them to, to come out of their closets, to inspire them, you know what, um, you can be who you are meant to be. 
you know if there is something that is holding them back if there is a type of fear that is holding them back from even thinking that they can make an impact in 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 in, in, in whatever way then that is something that needs to be addressed because if now they can't engage with the government or they can't be as free with the government because of uh issues like being arrested and all that and of which i'm i'm very sure that it is not a fight between the community and the government no it's only that there has not been that discussion there has not been that outpour of uh, hearts you know ready to engage and that's why we say the community leaders committed to to reach out to other leaders and to try and have a discussion around it it is it is better than just saying oh let us demonstrate or let us let us even visit them and have the media and talk about trash and you know apart that's to know the direction so if we can have um the, the community leaders going to discuss with them with the people that are in charge and the people that are in charge will be like okay um uh, what what can be done and it's very simple what can be done is just going getting the data uh, there are a lot of uh, lawyers that, that 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 do free mitigation it's only that they they have never come up with come or 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 met genuine cases there are lawyers in internship there are lawyers kaka is a lawyer <laughs> i have yeah, a lot of lawyer yeah. friends yeah. so this is not something that it's 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 doable but it's it at the same time it's it should be treated with caution and that's why we are going the the scholar way of 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 addressing it not the streets away so it is a positive way that it is a positive thing they raised it because now everyone is aware that it is a problem that needs to be somehow talked talked about because it is affecting the stereotyping uh it's it it, it can limit a lot of things for, uh in terms of thinking and what we want is people to think how they can create solutions without having barriers in their mind mm. What happened at the um event itself even with all the rain? How did you find about it? Hmm? Morris, can you hear us? Yeah, hello. What happened to the event itself? Hello, can you hear me? I was wondering what happened to the event itself. Okay, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah I can, can hear you now. Yeah. I I was going to say okay, so 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 that that came on through. And then what what about the conversations with the So 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 if I understand it right then the community leaders are going to talk or what are they going to do <clears throat> they are, they are going to take that issue formally to the sub county administrator of the area county county commissioner a member of parliament through talking and also official letters yeah so then that discussion will 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 guide the next move okay yeah okay and okay that's that's good i i mean i i think it's good i think it's, it's good that they are and as you say there are a lot of um people who are associated with the law like kaka and people who who knows about it who can who can who can be part of part of it all there's basically a broader kind of engagement and empowerment 
as possible, which is which is really good. I'm really keen on making sure that somehow Christine gets to do something. Yeah. With it, I I, I kind of think that is um, it's uh, it's a shame not to there and. Uh, And I think there's there's something about this economics that's not right. I don't know if you feel it, but the way hello, there's a there's a sense, yeah, yeah. I can hear you now. I was not there's hearing There's a sense you. when you do these things that you are. You sort of thing. You need to provide this. You need to provide that when you cannot afford to be providing it. Yeah. When actually it's quite okay to say let's come together and all yeah. contribute along. Do Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's It's bizarre in my mind that you take a community like the one you describe in Madari, and they yeah. should be the one that's providing food. Out of sure. their pocket. Yeah. When you are trying to find, collect enough for this, for the three house families that have lost their houses and things. Yeah. And and there is a there is a mentality, a thinking that you guys are not getting right. There's nothing wrong with saying, you know, we, we, we come from a place where we don't have that spare. Literally don't. But we're very happy to provide things and you we, we want you to contribute along too. Sure. You know, we'll cook it for you, we'll do all those things. But but that's but that's not being done. That's not being recognized. Yeah. Um and that's my that's that's a, that I think is a big issue and I think it, it ties up with just how likely you are going to be able to succeed. Yeah. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, it does. You you can't keep expecting someone to come along and pay because they won't. Yeah. And it also doesn't, it just enables you. It's like what you said about food before. You know, you give them food and then after a while they come to expect it. So. Sure. And that's that's not the way that you, you're really going to empower yourself to go forward, to speak out as, you, as they're doing in that way. And there's this aspect of just recognizing, you know what, we are from this community. You know, this is these are the resources we have, which is why it's good for them to come to you and see. You know, we come from yeah. this community. You know what I mean? We can, we, you know, we're happy to share what we have, but we can't actually share with you what we don't have, and that's my issue. Sure. <clears throat> do Do you follow? Yeah. And well, and. And so you know when you when you cook all the food and you prepare it, you give the chance for Christine to get it cheaper from the farmers. All you're doing is you're still doing the same. You're somehow giving this impression that somehow is all making money when it's not, because you sold your ninety lip balms that made two dollars each, one eighty, but you spent three hundred buying the food. Yeah. Gone silent. I guess it's. I, I think it was cut here again. Yeah, but it's, it's just that economics doesn't. It's not. It's a. It's no different from us. No, 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 no. <laughs> economics is economics. But and from us, it's a little different in that you know we we, we have it piled up. Um, yeah, we have Compar a buffer that these people do not have. Comparatively speaking, we have yeah. we have it piled up. So so yeah. that's what's going on here. But that's not. That's not how the world is going to survive. No, that that doesn't work for you know, eight billion of them. It doesn't work for us. No, it doesn't work for us either. So, not in the long run. So we have to address that, and we have to tackle that in some ways. That you know puts that forward, and yeah. that requires us to step out of whatever it is. I mean. We can do this better and ease and more. Um, 
Hello, I lost you for a while. Yeah, yeah, happens. Yeah, no, I, I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm just saying. Look, it's not, you know, you, it's there is no. <clears throat> I don't know what the right term. I don't want to use the wrong term because I, I think using the wrong term is very much. You know, there's nothing wrong with saying we are this people. We are capable. Here are what we can, and you know, we we want to do these and so on and. It's going to cost you whatever as well, in, in in some ways, right? Yeah. You know, if you have ninety people there, as you said, if everyone contributed fifty shillings to food, yeah, yeah, you would have covered your costs, or more or less. Well, well, maybe not. You know, you you still be down, right? You got three hundred in there. You you needed three shillings. Three dollars each or something. Yeah, so, you know, you you could have done something like that, and and you know maybe maybe that's too much to ask or whatever it is. But but it's but there's that element in there where asking for nothing is wrong. If you ask for fifty shillings, it's better than asking for nothing, and makes it infinitely different. Sure. Do you, do you follow? Yeah. Even if you left it in and they contribute, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Because it gives the wrong image of who you are. It gives you this image that somehow there's always someone out there who's going to find you. And I, I had a conversation with this group in Malawi over the weekend that made me realize I shouldn't go there. And part of the whole reason is because there is this, there's a huge amount of expectations about what someone coming there should do. Yeah. And that's not what I wanted to do. So, so it doesn't really work. But Tucker's trying to call me. I'm going to. Um, I, I overpay for the tickets. I just realized. I think you quit. I feel really pissed. How come? Uh, because if I got it direct from BA, it would have been 50 quid cheaper. It's like, you know. But when you put it into you know what Morris is facing and what they're doing, it makes a difference. Yeah, of course. And and in this case, who do you want to give it to? And of course, up being you know, and and for ourselves, <coughs> where we are. Of course, it is because that's what that's what it goes down to. But book this book. It's uh you know done your trade. Indeed. So did early. Shit, I held on. Um, but Morris, why I want yes. to, I want to ask about um, Wilfred and people, yeah, basically. So transformation ownership and the things that give us joy need some sort of a weapon. Website. Yeah. So I'm um, I'm wondering whether I, I want something that can help showcase what they do. Yeah. And so something like this might be able to do that because if it if it picks up, everybody will see it. True. So some way, somewhere where we can have have like a, I've got the domains. You know, we can host it in WordPress or something. Yeah. And then just have some way of kind of connecting up um, with it. And really, I think it doesn't need too much. But I, I'm, I'm trying to think, I don't know, Richard, uh, I think what do you think? So, so the whole... The, the thing that you, the thing that we want is a place where people can click on it about where they are and will show up. And I don't know if you ever seen something called Tableau Public. Pablo Pablo. Tableau Public. No, unless you show me. It's it's a free thing. It's quite a pretty cool thing. And I think they might like playing with it. And you can spend forever playing with it, but Thank you. 
Oh. You just sign up for Tableau Public. Yeah. What it does is it allows you to create visualizations and download public tab, Tableau Desktop Public Edition. Mm. And so what, I, what I'm thinking is if you can have something that basically, so, so I can have things like Tableau Public, Piano Day, Piano Day, playing whatever Britain is there, create report for public uh, maps. <coughs> And you can then host it, but basically, you can put in all these things where put in the map where people are, you know, what they can do, hook it on, link it off to Facebook pages or something where people can contribute, you know, things that give them joy, sort of thing. Yeah. And just a way in which you can, you can have people say sign up, and then you can see, you know, Kenya lights up or something. Yeah, wow. Do, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And then you can how many people from different countries versus the population of the country to say, why are you falling behind supporting it? Yeah? Yeah. And bring in all those things. It's a, it's a fun tool. It's amazing. I think we can. We can. When, when will you be free next? And then we add in Wilfred. So if you if you have a word, basically, yeah. I, need, I think we need something for the things that give us joy and transformation only. I'm not sure if that's two things or one thing. The campaign is the things that give us joy. What we are campaigning for is transformation ownership. Yeah. And and something in which we can enable that to become a full conversations and stuff but if i do if we do it this way where we have a, a page like this yeah and yeah. now imagine that there's a corner always which talks about madari yeah on every page that goes along you know something by which people can connect and so on you know to your music to whatever and, 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 and those things along yeah and then, and then maybe that can end up showcasing different communities and stuff as they go on through. Yeah. As, as we reach out to more, as it were. Do, do you follow? I, I follow. And, and I think it's great. And I think I'm thinking of this as a way of saying, if you need work done, connect, contact us kind of thing, right? Yeah. So, so that, you know, with Julian and, Wilfred, they become it becomes a an opportunity for them to do some things for people, make some money, be able to be seen. True. Sure. Skills. Or they can just say, you know, if you want to know how to do this, you know, join our course. Under shipping. Yeah. yeah. I think. Do you we can, yeah, I for we we okay. Will you put up this video up for in the in the in the YouTube so that uh, Wilfred can can play it? Which one later? This one, this one. Oh, this one, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So so you can see, you know, what this one. Tableau is a really great tool. I use I used it a lot. And and there are other data mining tools and machine learning tools that that are available. I mean, you know, we don't have to be the ChatGPT to do all those things, but we can do all sorts of, you know, kind of. Um, let's see what there might be. A lot of is US drive times in India cities. You know, we really kind of empowerment things. Things about empowerment, things about how we are a, a community together, as opposed to that. But, but to do it so that, because if we, if, we, if we try to take the transformation ownership to the world, yeah? Yeah. 
assuming we do. I mean, you know, let's 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 work on that direction rather than that we can't. And then this is a way to take Madari there too. True. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. It's actually a very uh, it's a very great idea, and I know Wilfred can and Tim can always sit down and try and create something. They they have created a website, but it's not yet up. I think I don't know what will happen when, with my laptop. But once it's once my laptop comes back to shape, uh, you'll be able to see what he has done. Yeah, and, and it's sort of fun. It kind of ties in with you know, some of the cartoony stuff I do. And it's just a way to say, let's build a world together. Um, anyway, so, so let, me, let, me, let me leave you there. That's, that's the thing I was thinking of. I think it's really good about that empowerment spreading and that's the whole thing about empowerments you, you begin to feel that you can you can take on things together uh, and sure. good uh, I am going to arrive on the second in the evening yeah. between the second and the sixth I think I'll stay in Nairobi yeah and I'll try and work on things to do with the launch of EACCGN and things that give us joy and then after the sixth I want to be able to you, I want to be able to visit where Kaka comes from. Yeah. And potentially other things that Daniel may think makes sense to try and do. Yeah. I go back on the uh, 13th. My flight is in the evening of the 13th. All right. So how, how many how many days will you be spending here in Madare? What do you reckon? <laughs> the whole month. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I... I, I, I I need to know where I can stay. I need to understand about. So, so I think it's between. Um, I, I want to spend a bit of time at at Madari. What I want to do is the following. I want to be able to understand the geography better. Yeah. And understand about the possibilities of things and talk to people. Basically, yeah. what it is, and you know the the agriculture the. You know your chicken and and everything basically there's just huge i see huge possibilities i see really kind of countless potentials of things to do all right and we we talked today about uh with uh a guy called jake reynolds he, yeah he was in africa for a while he set up the cambridge school of sustainability in the university of cambridge he's now the head of sustainability for a major law firm and we were talking and he was saying that these projects that look at, you know, 50,000, you know, $5 million and $500 million and things, they don't work. You know, even $50,000, they don't work. The things that work are the things that you guys are doing. Yeah. So he, he recognizes it, you know, if it's five hundred, if it's hundred dollars, if it's $50, they make a big difference. They, because they empower people. And true. They, he talked about how he made this biodigester business, the biodigester thing. And they had all this slurry that came out of it. Yeah. That could be used that they didn't know what to do. And so they were trying to use it as fertilizers. And then they dried it in the sun. So it become powders that people are more used to. As opposed to liquid uh, fertilizer. And, and, you know, those are exactly the sort of things when we talk about the, you know, the feces and the sewage and those sort of things, right? Yeah. And then the kind of things you can do with heat, basically. Yeah. You know, when you when you when you can heat it up and I was and he was saying, Oh, you know, you can't get in the hot enough temperature and I was, I was telling him about the video clip you showed us. Yeah. With 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 a simple lens that just concentrated up. And you can make that lens by a curved bit of metal. You know? Yeah. It, 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 because the, you, you just a parabolic, you know, something that roughly focuses the light onto a narrower region, smaller region. Yeah. And and then you you have that, so you don't necessarily even have to have this sort of plastic piece of big light and stuff. And and you can you can concentrate it along. Um. So so I I just think that uh, because if you track if you if you if you 
experiment with that in the context of how can you cook, how can you treat your sewage, how can you convert, you know, cre create other sources of, you know, other things that you can do and all the rest, then, then you can begin to progress forward. Yeah. It will, it will empower you along the way more. And this is where, where they, they actually help with, with each of the steps along. Yeah. So the way I see this project going at the moment is there should now be a group that's focused on things like the bookkeeping. Yeah. And they can then help other projects with the bookkeeping. Yeah. The, 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 the technology can help broader the, the entertainment things. I think there are things that we can do to reach to other countries, but let's leave that aside for now. But yeah. that's what Christine can do and all those things. Yeah. But the yeah. one thing that's lacking in it is a certain sense that somehow you have to present yourself away from who you are. True. And that's the bit where you say, we need to be the one providing food even though we don't have food ourselves. Yeah. And, and that somehow has to change in some ways. That's genuinely who you are. You want to be welcoming people. I understand why you want to be providing the food and all those things. But it becomes a way of saying, how can we actually bring out that authenticity? Yeah. In a genuinely authentic way. As opposed to by trying to do something which we cannot afford. Sure. So, so I think that's my, that's my part. Right. We, we will work on that. Have ever think about it? It's it's basically yeah. saying it's basically saying you are wonderful already. That's the point. Yeah. You know, it's it's asking. It's going back on Saturday, and then I'm fortunate about the rain, and I hope the laptop dries up. Yeah, but it's it's sort of saying without all the other stuff, what was it that made the event? It's because you guys are there. Sure. It's, uh, it's, it's like this bit from, you know, you know, with the story of Martha and Mary in the Bible. Yeah. When, when Martha or Mary, whichever one it was, kept saying, you know, you get my sister to, to stop talking to you and help me. I don't know if you remember that passage. Yeah, to, to get my... But can, Jesus can goes hear. along and he visits his, his two sisters, Martha and Mary. Yeah. And, and one of them is busy preparing. Yeah. You know, to, to welcome him kind of thing. Yeah, now I remember. And, and, and Martha hurries about preparing everything and Martha is there talking to, to Jesus. And Martha is angry and saying, why, why isn't she helping? Yeah. And, and, and that's the part where you, you, you don't, don't need that. You, you follow? Yeah. You already have so much to offer. Then you bring them sure. in closer by being a part of it. Yeah. In that way, and and I think that's that's the part where you where you bring communities that actually bring people in. Yeah. And and I feel that there is that element which want to want to which we need to crack somehow. I understand where you come from, and 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 it's a difficult thing because Richard and I feel the same too, and we do the same ourselves in our own respective ways. So it's easy yeah. to point it out, but we, we, we repeat the same thing, we do the same thing too. But but it is important that somehow we are able to step past that sense that we need the validation of providing all these things to see people come to us because they are because it's us. Sure. And so when we when we do these things and stuff, there's a difference between you know there's a there's a fair in London every Christmas now. It's called the Winter Wonderland, and they have fun fair rides and everything. And 
15 years ago when they first started, it was quite fun to go to. But they started charging more and more and more because more people go. And they now charge so much that it's just not fun to go to anymore. So there's a difference between charging someone like, you know, 50 shillings for some food and charging yeah. 100 shillings or 1,000 shillings for some food. Yeah? Sure. And there's difference between having food that you can provide for 50 shillings or maybe, or maybe you can then charge 60 shillings or whatever it is. And having to feel that somehow it has to be, it has to be that bit different. Yeah. Um, and it has a very practical implications today because the way that the weather is changing and everything is changing along, we, we can't really afford to do that. Sure. And um, so, so anyway, I should, I, 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 so, 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 so my thoughts are, fantastic thing about Saturday, really, really great to know that you guys have a good time, amazing story about actually that sense we can now come together and try to help each other along. Yeah. And, yeah. and, and I think as that word gets out, you can do a lot more. Um, the, the, the thing of the things that give us joy and transformation of ownership really want to, that's, that's Richard and my focus. We get involved with you simply because we actually think that you matter. Your communities matter to that. Yeah. And that's why it's there. And, and it's only possible if you can have that sense of empowerment to be able to choose one way or the other. So that voice. Sure. But we want to take this on further, much further out. And actually, if I'm going to ask someone to help and say, can you help us prepare a website or whatever it is, well, there's absolutely, ab absolutely every reason to say, you know, what does Wilfred think? Because there's, there's room for everybody, there's room for all of these things, and it can actually showcase what they can do. So, and if that's a situation, then that's fantastic. Then we can, you know, that, that might mean that you can, you can add in there, you know, we can do the following for you, you know, call us for a price kind of thing, right? Yeah. Um, you know, give you a discount if you sign up to the things, if you sign up to transformation ownership. Um, it's, it's that sort of part where, again, we, we think can be done. With Christine, really think that she shouldn't feel, okay. I'm sure she'd be able to do do what she was talking about and be really successful at it. Sure. I just get the sense that, you know what, she's very capable. Um, Richard, I've to Should you want to add anything? No, I think, um, you know, when we talked about um, uh, really ensuring you document everything around the lip balm project, that kind of ties back into I think what, what David is articulating uh, with the cost structure you had around the food, that it doesn't work out in the long run. And I understand there were very good reasons for why you wanted it this way. But, and again, I cannot emphasize this strongly enough about how harsh the world is going to become, I think, over the next couple of years. Whatever you think about, whatever you do, you need to have the economics aligned because otherwise it's going to die. That's the world we're in. So every time you look at taking a cost or an expenditure, draw the little sort of diagram and see, can I recover this cost? And what is the likelihood I recover the cost if I'm going to upfront it? rather than ensure I match it. Because essentially in the world, there is no money. So you need to make the economics work at all points through all your projects or, or you know, for Matara, the, the overall project. You need to have the economics aligned very, very carefully. 
um, because it's a harsh world. It, it's a fairly brutal world. Um, and the reason, the reason a lot of enterprises fail is just coming to the documentation and the, the actually keeping track of, of, of the facts. If you note everything down, you have the facts, you can look at them, you can take a, a ration, reasoned decision over what you are going to spend the money you have on. And I, I, I cannot emphasize that strongly enough. The economics really, really need to be aligned for the whole community. Hello. Hello, I can hear you, Morris. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It started to rain heavy loot. So, lots of the flickering, but I had you. Uh, I had you about the economics part. But, uh, sorry, is you are now. Oh, Ooh, now I'm losing you. I can't quite hear you. Oh, I'm saying, can you hear me oh, now? Now I hear you fine. Excellent. All right. Well, I was saying, uh, the part of the economics, especially in terms of the, the launch. Okay. Uh, uh, to some extent, uh, we were able to get the where what we wanted because we, uh, we wanted to get an. Now I lost you again. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's someone who is calling on my WhatsApp call, but it's fine. So I was saying, um, we were able to achieve that because we wanted uh, another demographic of people. You're coming in and out, Morris. I'm sorry, I can't follow what you're saying. Hello. Sorry. Now I hear you again. Sorry, I had to pick that call. Yeah. Oh, so I was saying, in terms of the launch, if you look at the report, we wanted to reach out to another demographic, and uh, yeah. we were able to get because the ninety people uh, we had around uh, fifty students, and we were encouraging them to because uh, of the health benefits to also buy for their mothers and uh, to, to 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 take that to people who are older, so that they can be able to understand that. Uh, it is a deliberate decision to to to, to reduce the the carbon uh, footprint by using uh, ke uh, chemical free uh, products as well as products that are made by a community that you can see. So we were able to achieve that, and uh, from here I don't think we will be having any major spending. Uh, the spending part is over. Uh, it's where now we have to sit down and uh, straighten up our bookkeeping yeah. uh, to, to look at uh, now that the rains are coming, to look at the effects of the rain on the business, of course, because it's about learning so that next time or next year or uh, the rains of September this year, we will know what to expect in terms of the project uh, when there is uh, a station like this. So... Yeah, we we really appreciate the guidance, and of course, we will be continue consultations. Will continue and all the guidance, and just to 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 move this journey together, so that uh, it can be a full successful story that other people can look at and be like, "Wow, we wanna do like them. We wanna we want to, you know, yeah." Now I lost you again. I'm sorry. No, I, I finished. Okay, good, 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 good. <laughs> no, um, good. No, I, I don't disagree with anything you said, but I keep repeating it because you are going to have to have absolute ruthless cost control over your expenditure if the project is going to survive. 
that that I cannot, you know, keep repeating often enough because it's going to be the whole key. What you get involved in, where you decide to allocate the, the community's uh, money, you need to make sure that the economics is stuck up. It's going to be absolutely essential. You know, um, but I sense you get that, so that doesn't make me worried. Um, and it's very unfortunate the weather was like it was, and you you, you cannot control that. You know, it's um, it, it's unfortunate. What else can we say? And, and, and it's it's what it is. Yeah. Did did your car? Uh, is it better now? Your car? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's 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 been dealt with. Yeah, yeah. All all, all fine. <laughs> it's it's uh, been it's been addressed. So, uh, um, right. but but not by me. I have no technical skills. Trust me. Um, now, uh, when are you going to run the next batch? We are going to run the the next batch in like t- today today because of the rains and yeah. tomorrow I know the rains will be there. Uh, we are going to run our next batch on Thursday or okay. Friday, de- depending on the weather. Yeah. But uh, the team has already the production team is saying the the, the likely time will be on Thursday in the afternoon because when we look at the weather forecasting. Yeah. We are looking at Thursday afternoon and be a, a little bit sunny. So yeah. it's a good time to do it. Yeah, much better. Uh, another thing that struck me, uh, as you mentioned, the rains, will that have any issues for the bees? Because bees do not like rain. I know that. Much. They, they, they do not like, like rain. Uh, and the beauty of the, of the situation is that we had uh, during, because when it started raining, uh, we anticipated that there, could, there can be a problem because even harvesting when it's raining, uh, it's, we don't we don't know how possible it is because of course we also don't want to because they are using the smoke so it's a tricky situation but the, the, we had anticipated it and we got like six kg of beeswax. Okay. So. It, it ran the, the batch that was completed on Saturday and we still have another one that is going to last uh, for the next batch. And so right now there has been a little bit harvesting when, when, when there are like two to three hours. So yeah. we, are, we are hoping that they, we will get, by the time maybe May is reaching, we'll be able to get another consignment of six to seven kg. They still have time. Okay. Yeah. Make sure you stay on top of that because without the wax, you don't have a product. And uh, if the weather is really, really bad, it might affect your ability to collect wax. Um, b- because bees really, really do not like rain. <laughs> um, so, so, so that's something to keep at the back of your mind. It's not, you know, emergency given that you have some. But ensure that you, you are in communication with the growers so that it's actually available once you decide to bring the next batch in. Because otherwise you have a problem, a real problem. Um, and the same thing with the avocados to some extent, but not as uh, crucial. Oh, lost him. I do.